plan to just be the speed going, say, you know, 10 score? Four score and seven years ago. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> you want more? No, that's okay. okay. My name is Jeff Peak. I live in Carmel, Indiana, and I'm a CPA and attorney. And uh, were you born in Indiana? I was born in Indianapolis, Indiana. Yes. Raised up there. Raised there. Lived most of my life there. You, uh, what made you come down here today? Yeah. Well, we were down visiting family in Austin, and then we went to shop for colleges for my daughter, and so we had a day to kill before we fly home tomorrow. So we thought, well, let's go into Dallas and do some sightseeing. Was this the big site that you wanted to see? Uh, yes, I, this was the number one thing on our list, yeah. So come here to the museum. Did you go over to the uh, Kennedy Memorial at all? No, not, didn't even know that existed until we saw a sign in, in one of the buildings, picture, I think. What did you uh, think of the museum? I thought it was, the uh, museum was well done. It was, uh, uh, it was kind of tough to read some of the language below some of the pictures look where it's either been rubbed off or worn away, but uh, I thought it was done. It was pretty close to the vest from governmental accounts and protective of the presidency. But uh, other than that, I thought it was, there was a lot of information and, there was a good mix between print and video and audio, and so that was, it kept it interesting as you moved along. So and there was uh, there was a lot of detail, and so if you're an anal retentive person like me, you like that. <laughs> but uh, that was uh, I thought it was well done. So uh, you actually remember the day that Kennedy was shot? As a child, yes. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what you remember about that day? Like? Well, I just remember I was in grade school and our there was a knock at the door uh, and I assume some administrator called our teacher out in the hall and said told her about the assassination and she came back in crying and I mean, it was just like, you know, in a matter of minutes and she was crying so you knew something really bad had happened. Uh, didn't know what. I mean, when you're young like that, you, you don't know a lot about the world, but something obviously was wrong. And they announced that school was going to close early and everybody was going to go home, which caused chaos because there was no such thing as latchkey kids then, you know, there were no buses or anything of that nature. So it's just like everybody go home and when parents work, which mine did, there was nobody there. So we all went to a friend's house and sat on the couch and watched Walter Cronkite and uh, as they tried to piece together what had happened and what they were allowing the media to tell the public and I just remember sitting on the couch all afternoon and my parents came home from work and uh, did you continue to watch television for the events that followed the next few days? Um, no, I remember Monday we did but the weekend was kind of you know, I don't remember as much, probably because they told us to go out and play or something. <laughs> but I remember Monday there was no school; it was a change of routine, and um, so at that point, you know, we watched more television, watched the funeral, and that kind of thing. So, what were your feelings about Kennedy at the time? Oh, I don't know that I had a lot, except for the normal singing of. Uh, you know, just, I think watching him, you know, there was singing of chants of who people were for or against for the presidency before in the election. But, you know, as, as a kid, you know, you just hear what's around you. I didn't know anything personally about him. Um, 
didn't know whether to like him or dislike him at the time. Is your family very political? Or? No, not at all. But, um, you know, there was, it wasn't, I mean, I ne at that age, I didn't even know what, you know, I was probably five years old or six years old at the time. So it was, I barely remember a few things from that era. But starting school, I kind of started to remember a few things. But, you know, the early 60, 61, 62, I wouldn't remember anything. So looking back now, what's your impression of Kennedy after? Oh, I think, um, you know, he's been glorified by Kevin Costner and, 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 and around that presidency. And, um, you know, I think people felt like he was probably a good man and he did well. You never know if people have better feelings about him because he was assassinated. Uh, people tend to get humble and cut some slack to somebody who's been taken out. You know, so I don't know that. Uh, I know it's the women in my life tend to maybe immortalize him more than the men because all the finery in the White House and Jackie O. But you know, that was. I don't think that had anything to do with him. So. Do you uh, know who George Benjamin Neely is? Nope. I assume it's who the plaza is named after, but I don't know anything about him. I, w I wouldn't have known the name Dealey before I went through the museum. Okay, I'm just curious if yeah. people know that at all. No. Uh, so, did Kennedy's death affect you in any way in your view of the world? Or? Oh, I think I, I remember. You know, the next election when LBJ was up for election, you know, then either because I was older, because of the assassination, I knew there was a presidential election. And, you know, that's probably it. I mean, I was so young that, you know. Do you have any thoughts on what the world might have been like if Kennedy hadn't met his end here? No, I'm never one to speculate. My wife hates that, but I don't speculate. Okay. Well, if you don't want to speculate, then do you have uh no opinion on the assassination itself? Oh, you just, you know, it's all speculation about whether something's true or not, or whether or not there was a conspiracy or not. I mean, it's, I wouldn't know. It sells a lot of books and audio and videotapes, but. Do you read any of those books? Or no. Of those? No. Did you see the Oliver Stone movie? Was that the recent one? The JMK. Yeah, I watched that. It's, in, it's, in, it's intriguing, yeah. But, yeah, that's about it. I'm not going to find any answers in it, so I'm going to go on to something empirical I can solve. I'm a yeah. male. I want to I want solve problems. You think any, any definitive answers will ever be, ever come out? Will it really happen? Well, I think everybody always wants closure, but... You know, I would never trust that our government would ever let any, all the information out about anything. But that's just my view of the world. So you do tend to think there's some kind of conspiracy? I don't know if there's a conspiracy. I just, I just believe there's probably more facts than we're all being told. Oh, I, I kind of, I mean, if, if I'm alive, I might encourage them to do that just because of learn about the history so you don't repeat it. But, um, you know, my guess is over time, it'll become less and less of a important item, become more, it, things are viewed like they're important locally. Uh, so you might but to, in order to attract outside visitors and so forth, I think that gets harder and harder over time. And eventually when we're all gone and nobody is alive that actually witnessed it or lived through the assassination, then I think that's when you'll really see a fall off of, you know, you'll only have people who are history buffs and intellectuals and 
people who like unsolved mysteries to, would come through. I don't know, you know, my, my wife is a distant relative of President McKinley who was assassinated in, at the World's Fair back at the turn of the century, the last turn of the century. And, uh, you know, nobody remembers anything about that. So I don't know that, uh, you know, I think once the people who, are, who live through something are gone, it's tougher to know. I mean, I didn't live through World War II, and so my grasp, although I'm, you know, very supportive of anybody in the military, um, uh, there's no way that I can understand or feel what those people went through because I didn't live through it. And so I think that's just natural. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I just think it's a natural passing of time. So. Is there anything else that you want to add that I haven't asked you about? No, it's a very interesting project you guys are working on. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> I will uh, unhook dinner. Okay.